Good morning, everybody. The weather forecast, it's echoey. The weather forecast says that we have two days of warmth and after that it starts snowing. So we need to make as much ground as we possibly can today and tomorrow. What I realized I can do, I don't need to chain this to a pole or a railing. I can just chain the wheel to the part of the frame so nobody can like roll the wheels. Somebody can, I guess, scoot the bike backward if they really wanted it. But if I don't have the batteries in the bike, there's not really any point to take the frame. Come on. Can't reach. Okay. Oh, it's pushed. That's useful. Okay, now one of these guys is responsible for cutting a hole in my bag, and if I had to guess, I would say it's probably this corner right here. I could possibly move this side in. Um, maybe it's this? Something is cutting, oh. Shit. Damn, this whole thing is falling apart. Maybe this is not a good design. You know, I should have probably sanded down this metal too and wrapped it in tape, but I don't have my filer and I don't have the electrical tape, so I don't have a lot of options here. We're gonna aim for 80 miles today and we're gonna see what we get. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head to Decathlon to get another side mirror because I don't wanna go on busy roads without that. In 80 feet, turn right onto speed. Could try your F image. I am only using one of the batteries right now because I want to go maybe 30 miles, charge up one battery, and then go the remaining 50 miles. Intersection, go straight onto cycleway. The board. It's probably almost. Be quiet. Road. It's probably been almost two months since we stopped at Little to get some breakfast. You left the original I know. Be quiet. Ah, uh, just like the good old days of three months ago. You left the originally planned tour. I'm feeling like a big roll, a different, bigger type of roll, and then some ham and cheese croissants, and then some coffee. Breakfast was five dollars. You know, I just realized I parked my bike in a handicap spot. No, there's not a handy. The sign says handicap, but there's not a handicap marking on the thing. Are they able to tow a bike? Like what happens if you park your bike in a place you're not supposed to? What do they do with it? I can just move the bike. It's not a big deal. Don't want to risk it. The ham and cheese croissants at Little are just fantastic, especially when they're warm, fresh out of the oven. Let me just show you. I guess I can't show you because they're not warm, fresh out of the oven, but they're really good. No, cats go away. I'm being swarmed by like fucking five cats. Um, a homeless guy came over and asked me for money. I don't have money, but I have a lot of bread, so I gave him some of my bread. I'm a little bit annoyed. He came over, he asked for money. I obviously don't carry cash, I just use my card. But I offered him my food because he kept putting his hand to his mouth asking for food. So I offered him all of my food. He's like, no, no, I don't want that money, money, money. What? It's possible he's just not fond of ham and cheese croissants. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit worried that fleas are gonna jump off all of these cats and land on me. Now they're fucking fighting with each other. So I don't have the big roll anymore, but I do still have the small one. Let's crack it open and see if it's just bread. Fucking. Yeah, it's just bread. The decathlon should be just up the street from here. We need a side mirror for this and we need a camping mat to sleep on. Uh, yeah, we still got a sleeping bag, the tent, the, yeah, okay. So mat and uh, mirror. Wait, uh, it doesn't seem like they're open. It's a Thursday, it's 9.30. Oh, they open at 10, so we gotta wait a half hour. I do see that they have a little bike tool stand with like a screwdriver and some ratchet and stuff. You know what, I'm gonna head over to the mall right there and get some drinks while we wait. Oh wait, the mall doesn't open until 10 either. I wanted to be on the road like two hours ago. Yeah, it looks like they're open. Something that has always baffled me is how expensive normal ass regular bikes are. Like this is just like a wheel, a frame, another wheel, and like a really small seat, 500 bucks. Look at that though, we got a mirror for five bucks. I'm gonna get another multi-tool just cause I left mine on the other bike. And I'm thinking about replacing my chain. Like I can get one right here. 
for 10 bucks. I'm not sure how many links mine has. I set out with like two things I wanted to buy and now it looks like I'm gonna be replacing my entire chain. God damn. Oh shit, I also need an air pump because I left that on the other bike too. Oh, a cooking set. That would be kind of cool. Let me find one that's good to strap onto the back of the bike. I found a really big sleeping mat, which I think is good for the winter and another sleeping bag liner. You know, I'm looking at the backpack section right now and my bag has a bunch of coals cut in it because of the metal things. Maybe I should get another backpack while I'm here too. Fuck it, I'll get another bag too. I wanna to show you guys the self-checkout because it's insane. You don't even need to scan anything. They just know what you're trying to order. See, watch this, I'm not gonna scan it, watch this. And it just knows exactly what it is. Like, it just knows exactly what we're ordering without scanning anything. How insane is that? It's getting everything perfectly. God, that's so cool. It's about 160 bucks for the whole thing. I did not purchase bags though. And that whole process also took care of the little alarm things when you're trying to walk off with products. So nothing rang when I walked out of the store. <sighs> you know, I did want to be out of here quickly, but I can see now that that's not going to happen. But I do believe this means we're going camping tonight so we can test all of this stuff. Okay, so I'm attaching the new sleeping mat to the back like this with some carabiners. As long as these straps on the bag don't rip, I think this will stay on. But I am going to do... I'm going to strap this string onto another carabiner just to make sure that nothing flies out. And lastly, we're going to install the mirror on the bike. Perfect. Now I'm just going to move this stuff from my ripped up bag into the not ripped up bag. I got this bag because this has a really thick back plating. It's like a plastic, like a, it's not, it's not material. It's like a plastic black back plating. It's got a plastic bottom to where even if this does try to cut through it, it won't be able to get through because it's not fabric. Okay. I gotta say, this bag is substantially better than my last one. I just hope it sits here without cutting itself. If this one gets cut too, I'll be sad. Oh my God, look at this. This is so nifty. The straps have these buckles on them. You can see that right there. So I can buckle the straps together in the front and I don't need to worry about them flailing back here and like hitting the chain or the tire. Look at that. Okay, so I ended up spending a little bit more, more money than I intended to, but this is so much better. Fucking stay standing. Yeah, we got a big sleeping mat. I think that this can probably fit two people on it. This is just way bigger than my last one. Let's hit the road. We have 60 miles to ride before the next major city and charging point. Oh no, the backpack fell off. I hope nothing broke. Why did the backpack fall off? The other one didn't fall off. Maybe it's too tall and so it's not clipping onto this thing properly. Okay, I tightened the bungee cable. It feels solid. Let's see if that holds. Honestly, this just makes me appreciate the other bike more. The backpack never fell off on the other bike. I am going to stop for drinks, though. <sighs> Fucking fast roads, I swear. Thank you. This is such a funky looking bike. Look at how far back behind the back tire everything goes. God damn. God damn. So I typically like the Nestle iced tea or the, the Lipton iced tea. This is sort of like their knockoff brand. It's pretty good. It's not quite as good as the Lipton tea though. You gotta get the lemon flavor. That's the only one that's good. It is suspiciously warm today. It's supposed to snow in two days, but I already can't wear this jacket because it's so hot. We'll stash the drinks and then start riding again. Back on the fast road, let's go. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. My back tire is fucking flat. Fuck. Fuck. I had to drive over a mile on a flat tire just to get out of that really fucking fast part of the interstate. Fucking hell. Holy fucking shit. I am so glad I just got that air pump. Like fucking 10 minutes ago. Holy shit. I'm gonna move my bike against the guardrail because the wind is gonna blow it over if I don't. It's super not stable. Now hopefully none of these cars hit me while I'm doing this. That would be cool. I would appreciate it if they don't. Or if they do, I hope they have really good insurance. Hopefully the slime that's already in it has like circulated.
Okay, it seems to be holding air, so this should be able to get us off the interstate at least. I do still actually have another spare inner tube, so if this inner tube is fucked, we can still swap it for a new one. When we were in decathlon, if I would have only got the sleeping mat and the mirror, well, we would be fucked right now. I am so glad I went on a spurge and got this fucking air pump. Holy shit. Come on, girl, you got it. I wonder if we rolled over a nail or something. We made it off the interstate. Okay, but now we're in a relatively safe position to actually try to fucking diagnose what happened. It is flat again, I can feel it. Just listen to that tire. Fucking rip. Literally, actually. Okay, we're gonna turn the bike upside down, see if we can't figure out exactly what caused this pop. We're gonna go slowly and gently. Come on, slow and steady. Slow and steady. Slow, 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 slow. Well, the backpack stayed on, so. Shit, that's a good or a bad thing. Come on. There you go. There you go. You're okay. You're okay. <sighs> okay. This is the second time this wheel has popped. Let's see if we can find like a... Yep, there we go. That'd do it. Ha 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 ha. So, fun story. Um, I don't actually have the tools to take the fucking wheel off because it's on the other fucking bike. Which means what we're going to have to do is we're going to take the screw out and we're going to see if we can't get that slime to fix this fucking hole. That's the only solution we have at this point. Do you guys know how insane it would be if slime is able to fucking fix a screw hole? I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting a little, getting a little excited. Gotta, gotta calm down and actually fucking fix the screw hole. Okay. Come on. Where is my, my new tool set that I just got? Okay. Tools. Let's get the screw out. Again, so the slime that comes in these tires, this is like a Chinese like knockoff brand, something or another. I'm not sure if the slime is as good as the slime we put in these tires. Okay, so I'm going to unscrew the screw rather than trying to rip it out. I'm going to see if we can get this out as gently as we can. Come on, little screw. It's okay. We got gotcha. you. Fucking hold still, Will. Will, I can't fucking put pressure on the screw when you're spinning. Okay, she's coming out. I can hear the slime trying to, goo trying to ooze out of it. Okay, now we're gonna spin the wheel, let the slime do its thing, and we're gonna pump it up with more air. Okay, let's pump her back up and hope that the slime holds. That would be dope if it did. And here's how we can see if air is coming out. We're gonna see if we can see bubbles through the saliva. It does not look like it. I think, I think it might be sealed. Fuck yes, okay. Now we just need to see if they can hold it for long or if it's just for like a couple of minutes. We need to see how temporary this fix is. I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned it before, but slime is the coolest fucking thing. I'm gonna have an Amazon link for the slime that I like using uh, down below if you guys wanna check that out. Uh, it's the slime that I used in my tires. Not this tire, but the other tires. I'm gonna run the wheel again just to get the slime through here again, just to make sure. I think it might still be leaking. You know, possibly. I'm gonna hang the wheel upside down so all the slime can go to the bottom part right there and be pushed out, hopefully. <laughs> Remember, the slime is the only chance we have at fixing this because <laughs> look at where we fucking are. Are you kidding me? Is that another fucking hole? Oh no, that's where the, the guy cut the, that's where the homeless guy cut the knife. The air is coming out from that and it's popping out through here. It's the same hole, it's just coming out from multiple places. Oh my God, I'm seeing spit cut, okay. I'm not, sh wait, okay, so that's where the homeless guy cut it and that's where the screw went in. So they're both at basically the exact same spot. Or is that where the screw went in? Do, do I have multiple hole? Do I have multiple holes in this thing? Holy fuck. Maybe I should wait to let it cure before I go start trying to ride it out. Like I'm not sure how long it's supposed to take before it's got a solid seal. Because, like, I imagine the bending from the tire will cause any seal that it does make, if it's not completely hard, to break. Google says it should be instant. I should be able to just, as soon as it stops blowing bubbles out here, take it and it should hold air. So if it's not holding air, then that means that the tire is not going to be sealed. There is air literally coming out of the metal rim. I guess it got cracked while I was riding, and so my rim is now cracked. This whole wheel might just be fucked. I'm trying to think of what we can do in a situation like this. 
The outer tire is fucked. It's got holes all through it. It's pretty worn down. It sounds like the inner tube is punctured in a lot of different places. It looks like the rim is cracked. Um, you can't just easily replace the rim though because the motor is attached to the wheel. Like it's not like we can just replace this outer rim because it's attached to the motor. <sighs> We've got some thinking to do. Okay, so this is gonna sound stupid. I know that this looks like saliva, but I don't think it is. I think that the slime that they're using the tire, when you aerate it, it just looks salivic. Because there's no way I put that much spit on this thing. I, I, I really haven't. See, here's, here's what we're deciding right now. We could try to just make this tire work, but the farther we get away from this, the more into the basic Bulgarian desert we go, and the farther we get away from a good bike shop. If we just turn back now, we go back to Burgess, we go to the decathlon or bike store, we could probably fix everything, but that means that we might not be there in time to actually get the other bike with the person that's picking it up. We're on a timeline, and I don't know what we should do. Yeah, it's just oozing out liquid. I think it's a really shitty slime. Maybe I can go to a bike store and I can get like a better slime, the slime that I used in this one. Maybe this one just has a really shitty slime. Okay, I think I'm gonna take the bike. I'm gonna run it up and down the street a couple of times. I'm just gonna see if it holds air. If it holds air, we ride. If it goes flat again, we turn back. That seems like a good system. God, if we have to replace that entire back wheel, I'm not even sure if it's worth it. Maybe I should just like sell the bike for fucking Fuck you, you better work. There's a lot of broken glass on this road and I'm sure that's not gonna help. I'm not sure how far we should ride to decide if it qualifies or not. Turn right. Then again, given how bad it was, I imagine we would know pretty quickly if the hole is still there. It's funny, if you guys think that my bike doesn't like balancing now, you should see how hard it is when the tire's flat. It is. It does not want to stay upright at all. Ah, no, it's still pretty firm. I don't know. This is kind of like in between. I'm not sure if it's lost pressure or not. I can still see bubbles coming out of the fucking rim. Okay, so technically we don't actually need to replace the entire wheel or the hub. All we need to do is replace the inner tube. As soon as the inner tube doesn't have any punctures, we should be good. I have the inner tube right here. I just don't have a bolt big enough to take the wheel off. So all we actually need to do is head to a hardware store so I can pull the wheel out of the bike. Fuck it, we're gonna risk it. We're 60 miles away from the place that I've already scheduled to book and they just said that they won't cancel the booking so that's $30 will be fucking out if we don't make it there. <sighs> I'm gonna attempt to ride 60 miles to save 30 bucks. Yes. There's a city we've stayed in before about 20 miles away. I think we're gonna try that and then see how the tire is. We could possibly buy the tool there. 20 miles seems a lot more reasonable than trying to go all 60. Okay, four miles. Let's see how she's doing. She is holding strong. Still has basically all of the air pressure. Fuck yeah. I am now confident that we will in fact make it to where we can replace the inner tube in like 60 miles. stop and test the tire again make sure she's holding we got to do this like every five miles just so we don't break the rim anymore oh she's still so fucking all the pressure she still has all the pressure fuck yes we are going to celebrate that avoidance of a potential tragedy with a drink how you guys feeling about some cappuccino coffee something we're gonna check the tire one more time how you doing little guy stay up okay yes yeah, so I'm definitely seeing some goop coming out right there it is losing a little bit of pressure we'll just pump it up with some more air not a problem it's sort of like an oil leak in a car. It's fine as long as you just keep adding more oil. Okay, let's go. This is seriously what we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep filling it up with air until we get to the place we need to go so we can get the tools we need. 
We've already traveled 20 miles on the flat. We need to find a place to charge while we're in the city. We've got one bar left and maybe 30 miles to go before we get the hotel. Okay, doing the math in my head, it's 2 p.m. right now. It takes four hours to charge the batteries. If we let them charge to full, then it's 6 p.m. by the time we're done and it's dark. That's no good. So if we spend two hours charging, it'll be 4 p.m. We'll have half of a charge and we might be able to go 30 miles on half of a charge. Oh my God, I gotta figure out how we can get to this hotel before it's dark. I am not wasting 30 fucking dollars on a room that I'm not sleeping in. Okay, the place is called Cod Food and Coffee. Let's see if they have outlets. I'm not optimistic, they never do. I'm honestly not sure if they're even open. I don't see a way to get in. No, they are not open. You know, I should start a practice of the first place that I find on Google Maps that I want to go to, I'm just not gonna go there and I'm gonna go to that. I'm gonna go to the second one I want to go to because I know the first one is always fucking closed. I can probably count on one hand the number of times that I've wanted to go somewhere, gone there, had it be open and had outlets on the first try. Probably count that on one hand. Okay, this is play this place is called Septima Cafe. How you doing? Oh hey, this looks like it might have outlets. Oh, this is definitely the kind of place where I want to be stealthy with how much electricity I'm using. So I'm gonna keep all of the chargers in the backpack so it just looks like I've got a backpack. All considered, it's pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm using this time to edit the first half of the video. Like everything that I've filmed so far, I'm gonna edit here and then I'm gonna edit the second half of the video later tonight once we get to the hotel. Okay, so I'm realizing a problem with keeping these things in my backpack is they produce a lot of heat. Like this is a whole bunch of energy that they're pulling. And if they're in the backpack, it's trapping the heat inside the bag. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or if it's gonna damage the components. I'll keep an eye on it. If it starts a fire, then we'll know. Okay, it's been two hours. Hopefully we have enough charge to actually get where we need to go. Okay, one thing that I have been mildly worried about with charging both of these batteries at the same time is that because of where this battery sits underneath the tent, it's a really tight fit and putting it back in is gonna be kind of painful. So let's see how this works. You stay up there. That's just not gonna stay, is it? No, it's not, okay. I just need to get it to fit right there. <laughs> that was not painful at all. Fucking perfect. Good. And then this one obviously is super easy. Not with the native bike. Remember, I had to buy a special seat to be able to make this work. So I guess I've been modifying this bike the whole time. This is a very custom bike. We have 30 miles to go before we get to the hotel. And of course, before we go, we need to pump the tire up. Where is the stem at? I can do this all day. We're just gonna keep pumping it up every time it loses air. You know, in hindsight, I should have done this while the batteries were charging. If we go at full speed, we can probably get there in an hour and 20 minutes. But if we go at full speed, we'll probably run the batteries down and they don't have a full charge. I don't know what we should do. It's a bona fide race against the sun. If we are still able to get there, even after all the bullshit we went through today, I'm gonna to be so impressed. We could stop in this town and get the tools we need to pull the wheel off, but I don't wanna waste that 30 bucks, so we're going. Luckily, the altitude looks very flat all the way there. Okay, six miles, let's check it. Uh, she's losing some air. So, pump it back up. This is gonna make our race against the sun a tad more difficult. Stay up, you motherfucker. Okay, we'll see if that holds for another 10 miles. I think the sun is gonna win the race. Yeah, it looks like the sun has won the race. We're still in twilight, so I'd say we have maybe 30 minutes of daylight left, but we need to stop to go pump up the tire, of course. I swear, half of the footage in this vlog is just gonna be me pumping air into this stupid tire. This has convinced me. At the next opportune time, we are getting a fucking electric air pump. This would be so much faster. I could just plug it in, and we'd be going. My fucking arm, god damn. 
The reason we need to beat the sun is because my brake light is completely hidden to our cars coming up behind me. Probably won't even see me. I don't have any like high visibility, anything. And the front light is trash. This bike is not for riding in dark. Let's go. See, look how pathetic the headlight on this bike is. Hopefully this will be the last time we need to fill up the tire before we get to the hotel. We are 11 miles away from the hotel. We don't even need to get to the hotel directly. We just need to get to the city where they've got street lights so that people can see my bike while we're riding. Where the fuck is my stem? There it is. As long as people can see me, we're good. Hi there. I'm not even gonna try to fill it up all the way. We have very limited daylight left. I just need to get to the city. <sighs> Let me check the brake light. See how visible it is. Not at all, not at all visible. Let me see if I can fix that by like moving some shit. <sighs> okay, it's wonky as fuck, but the brake light's visible now. There's a whole bunch of weight being put on this mat. I really hope it doesn't break. Okay, now we are just a tad safer. Hopefully this doesn't break. I know that by vocalizing that, it's going to break because that's what fucking happens in my life. I think it's safe to say that the sun won the race. Ha, huh, we made it to the street lights. I think we're okay now. Now we just need to worry about battery because I got one bar left. Never mind, no street lights. Yeah, there are no street lights at all. Oh my god, this back tire is begging for air. It's been begging for a while, but it hasn't been safe for me to stop. Shut the fuck up! It hasn't been safe for me to stop. I have lights now, so I can stop and air it up. We are three miles away from the hotel. Yeah, I just need all of these cars to be able to see me so they don't accidentally get a little bit drowsy and fucking hit me. There's a fucking chihuahua over there. Look at this bounce. That is how much air is out of this fucking tire. One thing I will say about this air pump, it is bigger than my other one. Like my other one is smaller than this. My other one doesn't have a lot of volume, so it takes fucking forever to pump up my tires. This one still takes a while but not quite as long. <sighs> Goodbye lights. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the city. I know that because there's headlights or there's uh, street lights. I can see things and things can see me. The town we're in now is called Sliven and we've stayed here before. This is actually the same city where the homeless guy cut my tire the first time. So it's kind of poetic that this is where we're changing the tire now. Now that we have good lighting, we can afford to stop and get some supplies. We're not racing the sun. I haven't eaten since breakfast, honestly. Shut up, I know. I swear to God, I know. I'm not sure what kind of amenities the hotel room will have, like a, micro like a microwave or whatever, so I don't want to get anything that we need to cook. I don't trust the city one bit. So I'm bringing the bag and the laptop. <laughs> I have no idea what I want. I want something hot, like I want hot food. I guess we can just do like a ham and cheese sandwich. Oh, hey, this is really soft bread. I like that. I like soft bread. I think this was like $10. We just gotta get it all inside the bag and then we can eat when we get to the hotel, I guess. It is worth pointing out that this thing has not ripped off yet, which is cool. Laptop goes back, backpack goes back. Let's go check in. Oh, fucking hell. Like it had bad balance before, but it has really bad balance with the flat tire. I hope that this shows you guys how insanely good the headlights on the other bike actually are. Like, I cannot see shit on my bike at night. In 600 feet, go straight and continue on to Mitre Dobrovic. It feels mean to say this, but this town just feels so fucking sketchy. Straight. 
Okay, we're here at the hotel, but it does not look like there's a place for me to park my bike at the hotel. I'll ask for them once we check in. I really hope we can find a place to put the bike, because again, this place feels real sketchy. I have a reservation. Uh, it should be under Hayes. So they've already booked my room, actually, so there's nowhere for us to actually sleep here. I'm currently messaging the Booking.com customer support to see if they can help me with this. Because I sold your money to the other person. You can see your reservation, but the only way to get your money back is if your room were sold in the same day, you cancel the reservation. They will uh, send some message to booking and say that uh, they, the booking have to not get your money. Okay, so just to catch you guys up on what happened. Earlier today, when my tire got flat, I went on the app and I tried to cancel my booking that I had there, but they said that I can't cancel it, otherwise they'll charge me the full price and that I've just gotta go check in. I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll be there. But the manager of the hotel, he didn't think I was gonna be there, so he decided to re-reserve the hotel room for somebody else. Even though I was still paying the full price, he decided to give it to somebody else. I showed up and this little fucking like 16 year old kid who had no fucking clue what was going on was just like, um, yeah, I sold your room, but I was told to. So the kid had no idea what was going on. He had to call the manager. I've got the conversation, the full conversation that he had with his manager and then he had with me. If you guys wanna hear that, it's like four minutes long. I'm not gonna put it here. It'll be for members. Members can hear the full conversation. Half of it's in Bulgarian, half of it's in English. And you guys can hear him try, the 16 year old kid try to explain the situation to his manager. I did get another room while I was in there. It's more expensive. I'm having to pay $40 now. And they pinky promised that I would not be charged the $30 for this room. If, if I'm gonna get charged, I'm gonna hella fucking debate that or dispute that because I've got fucking recordings now. So I drove in the dark with a flat tire so I would not get charged $30 for this room. And this entire time, he just fucking bike, don't you fall. I fucking swear to God. The new place that we booked is less than a mile away. So we're just gonna go there. We're not going very far and I don't want to set the, I don't want to deal with putting the backpack back on the bike. So we are just going to wear the bag like you guys keep suggesting I do. It's fine if you do it in short bursts. It's really bad if you're trying to wear a backpack for like five hours straight. I can definitely manage it right now. Fucking scummy ass manager trying to charge me for money and selling the room to somebody else in the same night. Motherfucker. I explicitly did not cancel it because he said I would not get my money back. The bike is flashing. She is dead. She does not want to keep going. We're almost there. Just a little farther. Oh, this is like a proper hotel. I thought this was just like somebody's house. That's kind of cool. Oh, wow. It's kind of fancy. Just in the nick of time. She is done. Okay, perfect. Let's go check in. Very fancy. Hello, I have a reservation. I made it like five minutes ago, or I guess 30 minutes ago. We are in room 310, and apparently there's free breakfast. This is way fancier than I was expecting. Did you guys, like, you guys saw the place where we were gonna stay at before. It was like a rundown little fucking, now we're in like a resort. $39 a night. Here we are, 310. Okay, we need to put the card in to get the electricity, lights. Not too shabby. Oh my God, look at, fuck yeah, look at, that's a fucking bathtub. Fuck yes. I gotta get the rest of my shit now. I can just feel it. This is gonna be a very long vlog. I need two batteries. I need all of the food that we just got. We're technically not allowed to bring food into the room unless it's from the mini bar. Um, we're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, so I need batteries, I need clothes, and I need food. That's not the room we came from. How do I get to where I need to go? Oh, here we are. Okay, now we're gonna smuggle all of our food in inside my clothes bag. So the bread goes in the food, or the clothes bag. The ham goes in the food bag. It's not even the clothes bag anymore, it's the food bag. The cheese goes in the food bag. Um, it's well lit. I'm actually not concerned at all about it being stolen and we're right in front of a hotel. So I think that we're probably good. Let's go. I'm not gonna give them the opportunity to check my bags for food. I'm also a little bit worried that they won't want all my batteries in the hotel. You'll see reports on Reddit of hotels not letting e-bike batteries inside their premises mm -hmm. because they kind of have a tendency to explode, which I empathize with, but I also need to charge these, so I don't care. Okay, power, cool. Oh, I promise, all I wanna do right now is go jump in the bathtub, but we don't get to do that because we need to charge the batteries and eat first. And I need to edit the video and post it and all that bullshit. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm not gonna be able to take a bath for a while. You come out. I think I, I'm, so I, I'm playing around with the idea of never taking the chargers out of the battery pack or out of the backpack and just 
taking one cable out there, one cable out here, one cable out there, one cable out here, and then charging the batteries inside the backpack. I like the system that we had at the cafe, and I think that I want to keep that going. Now I just need these things to not light fire, and that would be cool. There we go. Now let's crack open this food and make some sandwiches. Cheddar cheese, soft bread. Where is the ham? There we go. God, I'm so fucking hungry. Okay, come here, you. Oh no, they got smushed. The bread got smushed inside my container. You know, I don't think this is cheddar cheese. It has the consistency of like American cheese. I don't think I like that. I want some like hard, sharp cheddar. That's what I was hoping for. I super don't care, I'm fucking hungry. Super don't care at all. Fuck it, we can take a bath now. Okay, how do we plug the bathtub? I don't see a tub stopper. Hmm. It's always weird when, oh, there we go. There's our tub stopper. You come here and then hot water, yes. Wait, there's two outlets. So there, you've got this shower and you've got this shower. This goes there and then this, I don't care, bathtub. You know, I honestly can't tell if today is a good day or a bad day because I happened to get an air pump just before my tire went flat. If I didn't get the air pump, today would have been a very, very bad day. So I would call that kind of a wash. But then my tire went flat, and so I guess that's net negative. And then I had a hotel room that I had to drive through the night for with a flat tire to be able to get to that got sold to somebody else. But apparently I'm getting a refund for that, so maybe that's a wash. And then I ended up getting this room for the price of a cheap little hostel thing. Uh, so, pause. Uh, I was not supposed to stay in this room. The room that I paid for was a cheaper room, like way off over there, but they weren't able to turn the hot water on in time, so they upgraded me to this room for free. So, I don't know if it's a good day or not. No, you know what? I got a bathtub, it's a good day. There is not a situation where I end the day with a bathtub that it was not a good day. I'm gonna go hop in, I will catch you guys tomorrow. I'll have this video edited at some point, I'm sure. We don't actually have a choice tomorrow. Yeah, my bike is right there. We don't actually have a choice tomorrow. We need to fix that tire. It doesn't hold air for more than like six miles. So I have the inner tube right there. I just need to go, I need to find a hardware store that can sell the ratchet thingy to be able to pull the bolt off. And then once we do that, we can start riding again. I do also want to try all of the new equipment that we bought just to see how it works because that backpack is fantastic. Like everything I bought at Decathlon has been just incredibly good quality. Hey, so this is Nate from the future here currently editing this video. And I just want to let you guys know I am pretty sure we just set a record today for the longest individual vlog I've ever filmed on this channel. I've done compilation videos before where there'll be like an hour or two hours long because that's just like a bunch of vlogs back to back. But this is the longest individual vlog I have ever made, clocking in at just over 38 minutes. Okay, I think that means it's a bad day because that's typically how this works. The, the, the worse my day is, the longer the vlog ends up being. Good days for me where I'm just playing Fortnite, taking baths and eating, those are like four minutes long. So based on the length of this video, I think that we can say that it is a bad day but we got a bathtub.